Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Obscurity, a Jam Pack 2 mod pack available on the Feed the Beast launcher, created by Snowshock35 and Johnny Mobbins. We are in pack version 1.1.11. I've been building a little bit. I've cleared out a nice little area here, as you can see, and I put a lava source right in the middle of it and uh, put it on top of a block so it would spread out all nice and beautiful like that. I don't know what I want to call it. I think I call it the birthday cake, the lava birthday cake. It's not a nice little interdiction torch candle on top. Um, you can see this lava actually goes all the way down. Oh, I didn't realize that was going to be there. I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> this lava goes all the way down, and it just keeps going down and down and down, all the way down to the bottom, into the void. So this is going to be my main light source um, for my area. We're going to build vertically. Uh, the interdiction torch, I think, will only work on um, the same level it's placed at. You know, so this room, mobs will not be able to get into, but they can get down here um, if they manage to spawn. So we've got to be careful. I got this entire row of furnaces <laughs> inside my farms. I've got the black farm is the tree farm, and you can see it is it spawned me way out here because there was no place to spawn me in there. But these trees go quicker than I can chop them down. Like, if if I put um, saplings behind me, they'll be growing before I get back around to the other side. So, we are completely set for wood. Um, I think it has something to do with there's just not a lot of land on, you know, in the uh, dimension that these um, pocket worlds spawn or whatever these uh, miniature storage areas, whatever. So, the trees just seem to grow, grow really fast. All right, so that's the tree area. Let me get a see if I can get a few saplings here. Can replant these trees. Um, both my tools managed to get repair, which is awesome. I'm really happy about that. Uh, we want to now go for a smeltery so we can start upgrading our tools and get a hammer so we can mine easier. Why are they not breaking? <laughs> Come on. I guess I just gotta chop them all down. But yeah, my uh, I want to get some, you know, turn these into metal tools so they're faster, and uh, and get that hammer. So that's the plan today. Is go for the the smeltery. That's in another quest line off the main branch, uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. As soon as I get these trees all chopped down. Yeah, but this is um, how I planted it. I just went on a, with a ring kind of around the area, leaving a gap of two from the edge. Um, we don't get a lot of saplings back when you do it that way, so maybe I'll do it like this. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Just because all the leaves kind of clump together. Okay, so we got tons of wood. Let's uh, get out of here. We'll go check out the white farm. Um, with all that grass in there, you bone meal the grass and you're going to get seeds. So I've now got a bunch of seeds growing in the white area including sugar cane and uh, some cookies, or cocoa beans anyway, I can use for cookies. Some wheat's growing here, I've got some potatoes and some carrots. So I should be set for food, there's no uh, hunger overhaul or anything, so we don't have to worry about um, food rotting or not being able to eat the same food over and over again. So this uh, little 5x5 area should be, should be fine for enough uh, to give me enough food for what I need to do. Okay, so throw all this in here. A little lag spike there, that was interesting. You can see I put all my clay in a barrel because that's 10 stacks of clay. Holy crap, that's a lot of clay. Might have to put wood in there eventually. So let's look at the quest lines. In the Entering Darkness quest, we've got this one, which is uh, the flint, the clay, and the coal. So let's just grab a bunch of the stuff we're going to need here. Not bones. Um, flint, coal, not TNT, and clay. We can turn that in, and we're going to... That's going to manually submit them, so we lose them, but we get 64 bone meal. So that's a good trade, I think. And then this other one here is what you get from mining out that um, mixed compound, which is sand, gray, and gravel. We're gonna get a reward bag and a heart. Lots of gunpowder, okay. Um, we've got uh, four hearts, we might as well make one. And eat it. 
Okay, cool. Now we can put all this back in there. Get the bone meal. All right, so that's going to unlock a few things. We need to dig a bunch of ore, like 16 of each kind of ore. Um, this quest here, we just need to turn in a torch. So make sure you always save one lit torch to, for this quest. And that's going to give you the flint and steel, which is how you turn your unlit torches into torches. If you don't save this torch, you are screwed with torches until you get to steel, which is going to take a while. So, good luck. <laughs> I'm going to go for the reward bag. I just got that random number, eight, jumper, run, random number generator. Thank you. Okay, but now we can take these like uh, unlit torches. Do I have any? There they are. And you get these from this stuff. So let's get uh, four sticks. We can actually make a few more. So you only get one for that recipe, so that's kind of expensive. But now we can put that there with this, and we get the lit torch. A little bit of durability cost. Cool. Okay. Alright, so what's next? If we look at the rest of this stuff, um, yeah, we need to do that. Uh, reward bag again. 16 item conduits. Okay, we can start automation, right? <laughs> Um, wow, it wants jack-o'-lanterns, so that's, well, we're getting to jack-o'-lanterns. It wants 16 unlit torches. All right, well, let's just keep going along this quest line then. Um, where's more of that? I just lit the torches that were unlit, so <laughs> couldn't turn to that quest. There we go. Um, another word bag. We'll get some more steel. I think it's teaching us, ooh, a red bag. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Where are my pieces of hearts? How many hearts are we at? Eight lives. Nice. We're never going to die. I think it's telling us, teaching us how to make uh, flint and steel using the steel. So let's get a piece of flint just to have it ready. And it's going to say, okay, uh, now that you harvest this rock, seems to drop some dust of some kind. You can make torches out of it. Yay! They're unlit. Okay. Then it's going to say... Light it up, so we need to make a flint and steel. Um, okay, crafting detection. I think it's shapeless, just two flint, or one flint, two steel. There we go. So now we have two of these. Uh, we can get a third one. <laughs> I don't think we need a third one. We're not going to light that many torches, so let's take a reward bag. And a bunch of quarter hearts. Okay, unlit torches. Reward bag has rails. Okay. Interesting. We are cruising along the quests. And now it wants us to make a jack-o'-lantern. You know how to make uh, basic light in this dimension. Fortunately, a standard torch does not give you off enough light. Yep. As you progress, you will discover far more powerful light sources by combining a pumpkin and four torches. What? He's changed the recipe for this. This is four torches now. We could get a jack-o'-lantern. All right. Uh, keep in mind the drop chance is not guaranteed when breaking the jack lantern. Okay, interesting. So let's get, uh, we're going to need some pumpkin seeds, which means we need to go into the grassy area here. Why did, why does this tree not have any, what? <laughs> That's weird. This tree did not grow any leaves. All right, so um, yeah, let's just try to get a pumpkin seed. I also want a melon. I think the pumpkin and the melon are the only ones that I have not gotten yet. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Okay, that's not melon. Come on, let me just get these saplings out of the way here. More potatoes. Come on, melon seeds. Any day. More potatoes. <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing good with the potatoes game. No, I do not need any more. Wow, what horrible luck! Do I just have any? Maybe. Oh, I got a, more cotton. 
What's that? More cotton. Actually, I think that's the only cotton I have, so that's actually important. Come on! Melons, please! I'm gonna go through a stack of bone meal and not get any melon. I'm just getting rid of this tree. It's bugging me. It's in the way. Alright, now we got a huge area to deal with. There's a melon seed. Okay, we're good to go now. Let's plant these trees again. And head on out of here. Now where am I going to plant these? Because this other farm is kind of full of stuff. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't really have time or room for cotton or anything. So let's let's take the sugar cane out of here. So I need to go back and get some dirt. Oops. And do you think we have room in the small one to grow some pumpkins? Let's see. We got water. We just need a bunch of dirt. That was funny. It's like flying. That oh, was just a lag spike. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so dirt. We will put our cotton here. Alright, how much bone have we got left? Enough to get a few more cotton seeds. Perfect. Take some potatoes while I'm here, a little more wheat, and we're good to go. Let's get out of here and check out the little one and see if that's going to be enough room to grow pumpkins. Um, what if we do... We can do... Yeah, let's put water in the middle. We'll put the, uh, the seeds there. So melon. Pumpkin. We'll go grab a little more bone meal just to bone meal up the, uh, the stalks. And we have a nice little pumpkin and melon farm. And if we ever need to like mass produce the stuff, we can move it out of here. But usually, yeah, this kind of thing, you just need a few every once in a while. So we should be good here. You gonna grow for me so I can make a, a jack o' lantern? Maybe. Come on, pumpkin. Come on, pumpkin. You know you wanna. Hey, it did want to. Cool. So it was a pumpkin plus four normal torches. It said. Is it just like this? No, nope. it's probably shaped. Shaped recipe, I'm guessing, like, plus sign? There we go. Jagal lantern. Quest complete. Oh, I need four of them. I have to submit them? You suck. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's see what kind of light level these things give off. Can stuff spawn on a pumpkin? I don't think so, because... Oh, yeah, because it's going to be lit. So I could put this... Uh, I'm going to need something for it to sit on. There we go. That lights up the area. Cool. Over here, I just made a quick cobble gen. That's what this thing is. Um, water always flows to the lowest ground, so that's why it's not flowing out here. Back behind there is a lava block. So I can just stand kind of inside the cobble here. That'll um, minimize how much gets eaten by the lava. And uh, yeah, just break some cobble. But awesome, that's that's cool. We can get jack-o'-lanterns and uh, light up our base that way. What is with the lag spikes? Every once in a while I'm just getting a good spike of uh, half a second or so. Alright, so any more quest lines here I can do? Mob farm, eat some jerky, nope. Um, we got all this now, sweet. Okay, now it wants us to consume. We need to turn in 16 of each thing, okay. 
Oh, we got to remake the sugarcane farm. Don't let me forget that. Uh, we need to get a bunch of cotton to make wool. All right, where is the cotton I grabbed? Here it is. Is it three? Four wool? Three wool for two string. Okay, well, there's two of our wool. Three cotton for two string. Let me get some wool out of that. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit of harvesting to finish that off as well. So we're stuck on pretty much everything. So let's head over to check the other ones out. Unearth the darkness. We finished just by coming here, I guess. Okay, we get three hearts for that. Up to 13. You're awesome. And a bunch of this. Um, yeah, we're going to leave for another time. Let's go into the Forge the Darkness. So we start with Forge the Darkness with a smeltery. It wants just every possible part of a smelter you could get. So let's get two stacks of sand, two stacks of not glass, gravel, and two stacks of clay. And we'll go ahead and make some grout. I am grout. And now that's where all these guys come in. <laughs> so we need one, two, three, four. Only in half of you. Cook this all up nice and fast. Yeah, see another spike there. And the last one. All right, cool. So that's gonna cook up our grout pretty quickly. And uh, we'll build our smeltery kind of into the wall, maybe. So yeah, let's put it right here. This should be plenty big. So we'll pour right here. So let's get a five by five dugout. I think I need to restart my, my client or maybe my entire machine because this is just ridiculous. Is that enough? Nope, one more. Don't mind a little copper while I'm here. How did I only do a 4x4? Four four? Whoops. <laughs> I guess a 5x5 five five just... It's a lot bigger than it seems. Okay, all good. I really need some better tools. These are so slow. They're, they start out seeming fast when you go from wood to flint, but <laughs> then once you've used them for a while, you're like, man, these suck. Okay, let, give me all your seared brick that you got. I've got those uh, item conduits. I could probably put them... Uh, behind these to steal everything out of them. That might be a good idea. I got a slime up there. Rain and slop on me. Thank you, slime. Let's get our just our normal bricks here. Um, I was going to say, I made 16 of those. Why did I only have one? <laughs> was that enough to... Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. Now we'll need enough, um, we'll need some glass to make our lava tank. We'll need a controller. Let's make two drains and uh, two faucets. So we'll put our lava tank here, controller here. I'm going to open up this as well so I can reach into the hopper. Uh, drain. I'll put drains on the upper level. Right there and there. Put 
some faucets on them. Okay, now I just need more bricks. I like having this much mini furnaces. <laughs> Makes this go so much faster. Alright, how many more bricks do we need? Quite a few. So... Okay, that working smell. Oh, does not like being sideways. Okay. We will reorientate you, and hopefully that will not work. There we go. Smeltery is up and running. Last thing to do would be to make our basin and our casting table. in there, table there. Okay, we're good. We're just going to need to put some lava in and it should be ready to go. Um, I think this quest gives us now a hopper. Yes, it does. And, uh, oh, a lot more bricks. I guess I didn't need as many as I thought I did, but we can add a third level, I guess. Let's put this hopper here and the other hopper right here. I'm going to need a chest. You're a good chest. Not really. Um, let's just put a vanilla chest. Oh, this slime is really bugging me. I'm gonna go kill him. <laughs> so chest right here. Hopper out of there into there. I'll put another one there when I can. Don't worry about the redstone signal for a while. Okay, where am I going to get more lava? Um, I have some... Let's see, I'm using that for light, that for cobble gen, so I'm going to have to go scout out and find some more. Okay, so quest line here. That opened up uh, quite a few quests. Um, one to make a ender chest. And there's this one I couldn't... I don't know why there's... Why it exists twice? It looks identical to me. <laughs> so, who knows what the difference between these two is. This one is how you're going to make more lava. Um, unfortunately, you need lava to make more lava. So, um, we could combine magma creams with luminite to get... Er, sorry. Slime with luminite to get magma cream. Then we put four of them in and we get a bucket of lava. I think. Or maybe it's a bucket of lava per each. I don't know. Let's, let's test it. So, we need slime and uh, luminite. Did I use all my luminite? No. Alright, so is it uh, 1 to 1? 4 to 1? 8 to 1? There we go. Alright, so it's 8 to 1. Because our 4 magma cream. Claim the reward, we get 4 more. And now we really need to put those guys in here. We're going to need some lava. But that's good, because we'll use... Now we use just a little bit of lava and make eight buckets worth, I think, of, of more lava. Where's my bucket? Might as well eat this heart. All right, it's time to go... This lag is really brutal. I hope it's not the pack. I hope it's just my machine having been on the fritz, but I built this little area here where I can kind of attack mobs. I don't like that blizz being there. Where are you? Oh, that was a big slime. Whoa, big! <laughs> you got a good jump there. Lots more slime balls. And I need to put a door in here still. But, oh. Ow! I'm slow. The blizz, the blizz, get out of here. Alright, so now we've killed that slime and we've dealt with him. Let's see if we can go down and get some lava somewhere. 
Now it's hard with all this lava flowing down to find out what is source blocks and what is not. <laughs> um, and I don't know if more lava spawns here. So what I could do, yeah, let's do this. Let's take the lava out of my uh, cobble generator and then we'll make more and then we can put it back. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in there. These are now cooking. I'm interested to see if this makes eight buckets or two buckets. We'll see. Um, probably tells us. Magma cream and a smeltery. Yeah, one makes one bucket. Sweet. So just for... Looks like maybe two buckets of lava. I can cook, you know, 16 or 18 of these if I had them. Just never run out of lava. <laughs> Always make sure you have enough to cook, to cook more magma creams. Now this blizz is pissing me off where it was the... The slime before, now it's a blizz. I can't win. Now, what do I do with this lava to get it out of here? Can I pour it in here? No. Can I... Hmm. <laughs> uh, can I do a tank? Let's see, we have that tank. We got this as a quest reward. Let's see if this will work. I'm borrow you... Can you hold a lot of it? Yes! Sweet! Okay. So you can use the faucet right into a tank. Maybe I'll get a third drain here. Do I have enough? Yeah, because I'm going to need to be draining out the lava quite often. Alright, are you gonna are you gonna have problems if I break you really quick? I'll be fast. Oh then I won't be able to I should put the lava in the middle. Alright, I'll switch that later. <sighs> Up to kill this stupid blizz. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. Uh, I'm scared. Whoa, he shoots hard. And he sh oh, he's, I'm slow. He has a lot of health. Die. Okay, good. Wow, he really slowed me down there. That was... That was interesting. <laughs> a little frightful for a second. Okay, we've got all the lava out of here now, so let's... Can I just break this? Good. We will move this one back here, so we put another hopper there. We'll do the lava in the middle. And now, we can take this back. Cool. I want another cobble to replace back there so I don't accidentally walk into the, the lava while I'm doing that. Okay, there we go. Now we've got plenty of lava to put into the tank. Oh, 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 that was not good, that was not good. Oh, don't die, don't die. Where's water? Where's water? There's water over here. There's water over here. Whew! That was close. Do not shift click. Bad. Yeah, I could get, I could pour it out of here and go right back into the tank. That'd be a good idea. Okay, that's full now. Let's eat some food so we don't die. What's on the menu today? How about a carrot? Carrot enough? Yeah. We got- oh! I forgot when you eat carrots you get a minute of night vision. That is awesome. It's all bright in here now. <laughs> I can actually see my base. Let's start um, doing some ore, I guess. Should we do the copper ore? There you go. Tons and tons of copper ore. Okay, that is finished. We need to get some uh, castings. 
foraging tables, bronze. Do I have that much tin? I do. Cool. Let's throw the tin in there and get some bronze. I don't think I really need copper for that much. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. More food. I just might eat carrots all day long. <laughs> Okay, good news there. Forging your tools, we're gonna need a ton of iron. This is a, uh, let's see, aluminum. Let's look up. Um, three aluminum for every one copper. So I'll probably have some extra copper in here based on how much tin I put in. Let's just throw some aluminum in there as well. See what happens. Let's do. Let's do six aluminum actually, just so it's uh, a nice round number, three to one. Okay, we got a little bit of bronze. What did it want for the bronze quest? One block of bronze. I can do that. Cool. Oh, will that open with that thing on top of it? Ah, oh, it won't open. That sucks. Wonder if the storage lockers will. Because they open from the side? I think that's their point. Yeah! <laughs> so if you've got a chest that you want to be able to access but there's something on top of it, use a storage locker. Do I... I swear I had enough... Bronze. Oh, it switched it here. Silly brass. Okay, we needed some um, castings. We need an ingot casting, a tool rod, and a tool binding. So let's get a little bit of cobble here. And one of those. Tool rod and binding. We can place a seared brick on there, select the aluminum brass, and pour onto that. There's our Tinker's Alley Bronze. Gonna get some bronze shears, and now it's gonna want us to make bronze armor, which will be is very necessary right now. <laughs> and uh, we got that one. more we got plenty yeah we got tons of it two ingots per pattern here so what I'm gonna do in between episodes I'm gonna get the um, the patterns for the pickaxe the axe head the shovel and upgrade everything to bronze probably is probably my my best bet of what materials I have now and uh, then we'll we'll probably mine a little bit more and uh, harvest our trees and our farms and next time, we will probably, let's see, what can we look at next time? We can get into Invar. We could look in here and maybe try some of these random quests if we can. I want to go visit the market. That's another cube. It's not too far away. We've got some pretty good, we'll have some armor, we'll have some bronze armor by then. So yeah, let's try to check out the market next time. If you guys liked this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Follow me on Twitter at FunshineX. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Catch you later. Bye.